Yes, indeed. You had uh, my fault. Do a couple difficulties and not really difficulties. Mishaps by me. I accidentally hit the button. I wasn't supposed to hit. They check same how loud he's coming back. Um, bad point. Uh, Vito, I accidentally hit the button. <laughs> okay. Did you see the hit? Yeah. Yeah. He shouldn't even be playing. He should be out of the game. I, I agree. I agree. I agree. Told him. I ain't soft. It's a good football hit. But. Yeah. It's a, it was dirty. It was a dirty hit. It was definitely a dirty hit. It was definitely a dirty hit. Bye, good like imagine us doing that to Kyler Murray. Sam Howell in shotgun. Back to pass. Looks, throws it over the middle. It is a catch by Logan Thomas. I would like to see Logan Thomas catch the ball a little bit better on this drive. Because last drive, he had several, several drives on one drive. Not several. He had two. But that's enough. That's like several on one drive. Like several. You got Howell back out. Took your man Brissette off the field fast. I don't know what. I know, I know right? <laughs> Hand off to, I think that's Robinson up the middle. Yeah, that's Robinson. No, that's Gibson. Gibson up the middle. He gets about four. I think the Redskins should really exploit the run. Running game in this one. I think they have advantages up front. Even though their line may not be ranked that good, but I still do think that they are a, a decent line for right now, and that they could exploit the Cardinals in the run game more than the passing. Ham, how scrambles out. It's a catch to Dotson. Court on the sideline by Thompson. Oh, they got another flag. Hit out of bounds. You got another one on the Cardinals. So we see how the Cardinals, what the Cardinals going to do to win this game. We already see how they're going to play it. They got a new head coach, too. I thought Cliff Kingsbury was still there. Yeah, they got a, oh, they got a new coach, right? Yeah. I don't know if he was out of bounds. He was turning up field, but he was on that sideline close enough. So, are oh, they saying it's head, a headbutt? They said spear, spear. He used the helmet to spear. Forcible contact with the helmet. Fifteen yard. Woo! Get lit up with these penalties. Get lit up with these penalties. Gonna try to get point in here. Hand it off. Robinson is tackled in the backfield. One yard loss. What up, what up? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? It says you tuned in on the audio. Is that perfect? Right. What's up, fam? What's good? Yeah, man. Hey, man. That man. They they been they, they been taking a lot of dirty shots on them sidelines, man. It's all good. Yeah. Man. Welcome to the first game of this season. They get it. They get it together. Yeah, man. But I don't know. Back to pass, pal. He's going deep. Uh oh. McLaurin passing the first. Easy call. Easy call. Easy call. Easy call. Yeah, Cardinals don't look too disciplined right now. Yeah. Easy call. Passing the first. I like the call, by, call by, uh, the by the enemy. Good call by the enemy. Absolutely. 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 They can't run with Terry McClellan. You, you, play, you play into what they plan. They can't run with McClellan. The first they, score from the, uh, from the 49ers, Brandon IU. First score of the season, Brandon IU. You know, shout so out to Brandon IU you for the first score of the season. Out of anybody. San Fran up 10 nothing. Mm. Hands it off up the middle to Curtis Samuel. I love the call. I love that play call there. That's one that works. I, I would like to see the Washington run the ball in the red zone as much as possible because that keeps Sam Howell from making mistakes in the red zone turning the ball over. I'm, I'm just behind y'all, uh, and looking at that pass interference, that's something 
that Sam Howell got to get out a little bit further for Terry, man. I don't know if his arm big enough to do That's it. That's a good throw. I, no, no, I'm not saying it's a bad throw. You know what I mean? But if he puts it out a little no, bit he's further, holding. I think he... The defender's clearly holding him. No, no I'm Howell not saying it's a bad throw. Throws it, touchdown. I watched it. Great play by Sam Howell. Yeah. Brian Robinson on the touchdown. Just, just looking at the play. Seven nothing. Washington goes up in this one. Love it. Love it. Love it. That was a great drive. That was a great drive. Great drive. What you got on that drive, Point? Um, I'm still watching the drive. I'm behind y'all. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, what minus, you got on the, drive? the minus only comes because you got one play behind the line of scrimmage. Other than that, it's a really good drive. I agree. Even though they I was playing, they was tackling it dirty. You stayed aggressive, and that's that's not often for us. So that's good. Absolutely. I think that was a bullying tactic from the new coach. That's what I think. To get to play us aggressively, you got a new quarterback. I guess he thought we saw for something, but he don't know. We got a defense that's pretty physical, so he might have opened up Pandora's that, box a little bit on that. That was a great read too on that throw. Was it? Sam Howell. You could have made I'm the trying mistake of trying to throw that jump to Logan Thomas. Great read. That was a great, great read, read yeah. bro. That's great really read. Good. You're right. Great read. Great read. I agree. I'm, I'm just watching that touchdown pass just now. Yeah, I'm trying to tell everybody Sam Howell is different. Good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, bro. The patient, to tell him. He had five people running at him. Good play, Shawty. I know, great right? Play. Good great play. play. Great patience. Oh, you see that patience? That was great patience. Was it? Was it? Yeah. Facts. Tell me that wasn't Patrick Mahomes like. Tell me that wasn't Patrick Mahomes no, it like. It wasn't. It was Sam Howell like. Yeah. Of course. I'm just, you know what I mean, though. No. I'm, In comparison. I'm not, no. Patrick Mahomes don't play with us. I get what Rose saying. He's saying the style of play. You uh -uh. know? No. Nope. That was I mean, a good old North Carolina Tahu football, man. I'm going to say this. Um, Patrick Mahomes has a scrambling style of play, and I feel like Sam Howe possesses some of those same attributes. You know, uh, when you look at, you know, what the – premier quarterback in the league is right now. It is Patrick Mahomes, you know. Uh, so watching Sam Howe do some oh, of the Jeff, same stuff that Pat Goff, Go Lions. Oh, man. Oh, oh, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Jerry Goff. Don't get me wrong. Jerry Goff, very good uh, very good quarterback, you know, proved that he could play with the best of them, uh, especially on Thursday. Uh, but I would mm -hmm. say that, mm -hmm. you know, when, you talk, when you're looking at accolades right now, you know, uh, is there anybody with more accolades than, than Patrick Mahomes? Even when you count, uh, even when you count like the the resumes of somebody like uh, Aaron Rodgers. I mean, he, he right. got two was seven plays, ninety-one yards, two forty-five off the clock. He don't got two Super Bowls. You know what I mean? A seven-play, ninety-one-yard drive. Andy Reid got two Super Bowls. Patrick Mahomes got two Super Bowls. He played on those teams. Oh man! Oh, he got the, he got he the MVP. Yes. Of both of them. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Because he likes him. Because he uh, likes him. Tell me, Chris Jones don't deserve the first one. Bro, tell me, Chris Jones don't. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. They came down for fifteen down and moved in the fourth quarter. Come on, how did they get the ball back? 15 down. How did they get the ball truth, back? Pack the truth. I, 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 regardless if he gets the ball back, Against the right? same team? Against the, all right, okay, all right, all right. I'm just saying. Got, 15 down in the fourth quarter. So, bro. We're like eight minutes left. No, no. We're like eight no, minutes no. left in the game. One They're more time. 15. One more time, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to give y'all a tidbit that y'all can both remember. I still say to those Andy Reeds, because if you go back to that first Super Bowl, even Patrick Mahomes, the following season, said that he still didn't even know what he was doing. He was still guessing out there. That is great talent, but that is also a quarterback.
coach and they coach putting you in a great situation. I can't lie. Absolutely. Okay. That is exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. Would not be because a more that. experienced quarterback and a better quarterback, the one with the two Super Bowl rings, just played on Thursday without the coordinator. Look, look, look. And it Brady looked a lot different. Yeah, I'm just saying. You started it up. You started it up. You started okay. it up. Brady, Brady would not Tom, be Brady without Tom Belichick. Left oh, Baron Leftwich. Baron Leftwich got a whole they job. They got him around. He's all to the races. Oh, no, he's tackled. That is Brown. Brown. Yeah, told you how to man. That is that Brown on the end of round. They gonna start to use some yeah, trickeration. Hollywood the truth. <laughs> mm -hmm. I said that's not up for debate. Hollywood the truth. Yeah. Dirk Force saved the touchdown there, it looked like. That was a great tackle by Force. Force is a great tackler, man. He was Hollywood Brown, that's who that is. Marquise Brown. Marquise Brown. So they got some players on offense. Yeah, Hollywood. He's a throw. They looking for a screen pass out there. Oh, uh oh. It look. Uh, he gets tackled. Two yard, one yard loss. One yard loss on screen pass to Connor. It's a great play by Martin Sweat on that one. Forrest playing his butt off. He is though. He is. Yeah. Watch yeah. him on the back side too. He absolutely is. Yeah, force is force balling. You got somebody is a little high over there in the background. I got you. Hand it off. Back to pass. Throws it wide open. Catch. Down to the 20, 15 yard line Cardinals. Rondell Moore. Rondell Moore is the X factor to me for the Cardinals offense. He's the best player they have on offense, in my opinion. And there's no offense to Jarvis Landry. I know you got Jarvis Landry. I know you got Hollywood Brown. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Rondell Moore. And you got illegal contact. Illegal contact. I ain't taking that over Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. I'm without, without Hollywood, I'm taking more. I'm in that. In that offense, I'm taking more. More has more has a hundred catches over the last, I think, five years or something. So, in that offense, I'm taking Rondell Moore. That's what I'm saying. I I I just think that that's because he got Hollywood. Without Hollywood, I, he got to play the punt, and I don't show, I ain't sure if he can handle. I don't it. like that penalty though. I don't like that penalty. Um, they called illegal contact, but he really ran into his own man. So I I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really one on that penalty right there. I don't really like that penalty. Yeah, that wheel route was a little too easy for Rondell Moore. That wheel route was way too easy. You know, uh, Jack. We need you to put somebody on him. That's on Jack. That's on Jack right there. I mean. Start off slow. Y'all know that. We know. But but see, this the thing. Honestly, he been with Scott's. He, he been with uh North son, son. Okay, him being with North son. He got Calvin him. really good to touch down slow. already. You know what? But I mean, we could definitely, you know, go up fourteen nothing in a lot of these games if we can get that defense to lock in after we score because you know the mm -hmm. offense has come back a little strong well this is a this is brand new territory for us we never up seven nothing in mo this game we should have been in my absolutely. opinion but at the same time we usually not ever up this fast absolutely so here's the new territory and seeing if we can show that we can hold the lead. Let's see if the defense can go out there and, you know, be intimidating. Right now, I don't like the drive's response. But as I said, Jack usually starts off slow to see what teams are trying to do. So, you know, I think that kicks you in your butt later on in the year because you can't this is, you can't give up points in this league intentionally. Now, I agree a million percent. I absolutely a million percent agree. Yeah. You know, we got to call draw to Dodge. Dodge doesn't get any any point, uh, any yards on the play. You got a third down. It's real important for Washington. 
to maintain the lead um, on this third down and eight. So they can get a first down before getting into the end zone. Ooh, is that Ursa? Crowd is standing up. We get some FedEx field crowd noise for us. <laughs> Zach Curry supposed to catch that touchdown. Back to pass, throw it. Oh, intercept. Oh, Claude nearly intercepted by Cameron Curl. He almost had him one. But nonetheless, it is a stop. It is a stop, and they will have to punt it. I mean, kick a field goal or attempt a field goal. Great job, defense. Great job. That was a great job by the defense. Almost two uh, interceptions in that drive. Uh, Forrest almost had the first one. Mm. When Urch dropped the ball, Urch should have caught that jump, though. Urch got to catch that full backup quarterback. I agree. I agree. I'm glad he didn't for me being a fan, but as a fan of football, Urch got to do them a favor. You expect your veterans to at least help you out in that situation. Yeah, I agree totally. I agree totally. Um... And then I think, honestly, when you look at uh, Zach Ertz, though, I mean, Philadelphia did let him go. I mean, you know, we could be saying that. <laughs> well, I mean, yes, they did, but you got to remember that they had already had, um, what was his name? That was uh, Goddard. Uh, yeah, Goddard. They had Goddard at the same time, so they had a replacement, and Ertz was just getting older, and he was more of Wentz's guy. Right, he was. He definitely was Winter's guy. I will say that. And I that's, will say that. that's, that's what I said about us. Like I didn't understand picking up Wentz without picking up the tight end. Like I, it just it made sense. They went together more than being apart. Oh man, they almost missed the field goal. Cardinals with the score seven and three, the seven three. Carter's with the skull and the make, you know, could be worse. I got the first quarter right, bro. Oh, you did? They just made that field goal. Oh, for the over? Nah, for the uh, plus six and a half. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 you definitely said that. Now I need them to do it for the – well, I actually don't want them to do it for the half now. I'd rather us go up 14-3 or 14-6. Yeah. You definitely say that. You definitely call good money on that one. Not a surprise, though, to be honest. No, nah, that, that drive by, by, by Arizona was, was, was a surprise to me because, again, wow. that says – because, to me, that says that your defense is – behind your offense and it's usually not like that this soon in the season like well, every, every, every team, well that's just historically offense is usually a little slower to come out the gates than defense is and our offense getting on the board before our defense giving up big plays that was two that's two big plays one both every drive they've had they've had a play over 10 yards and that was two big plays over 20 in one drive yeah. Mistakes happen. It's early in the game, but I feel like your defense should be ahead of that. You had a reverse that went for 20-plus yards, and two of the starting players ran into each other before the reverse even got pitched. Who didn't see the ball going the other way? <laughs> man, I don't know, man. <laughs> I feel you on that, though. You're, you're, you're a million percent right. I don't have an argument for that one because uh i mean you've seen it from coaching and when the plate mess up in the backfield it don't get a chance to do no better <laughs> yeah yeah exactly but again like i said I'm, I'm 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 gonna give it a second and just understand that our, our defensive coordinator is 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 a waiter he, he he waits to perform or put up the best defense that he can. So yeah, we can say that. We can say that. Oh, he's got to go out there and perform now, though, right? You know, go up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How back to pass on the first down? He looked. I mean, he got his pocket presence, man. Is something else? He scrambles for four yards when he really shouldn't have got any. I mean, his pocket presence is just next level, man. He gets next level. Remember what I said about his heart, bro? 
We yeah. came back after yeah. that, that big ass hit on the first yeah. hit. We got yeah. the conversations no longer had. Yeah, yeah, that's real. That was a, that was a sit out yeah. at least for that drive hit. He came back before before which gonna could even take a snap. And it, it kind of eases me up when it when it comes to his injuries a little bit. Well, How back and forth on the we second he left. Nolan Thomas with the catch up the sideline gets about seventeen yards on the play. That's big. First down watch. Man. Good job, LT. Yeah, Sam Howell looks really good for this first uh, first game out. You know, looks really good. Again, I'm I'm how how man. At least I, you know personally, I, I'm how how. I think he has that. You know, he got that something that we haven't had around these parts in years. You know, no offense to cousins. No, 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 no. You know, I think he he hasn't had he's been given the chance. He's been given the chance because I think Heineken right. was special. I, I, yeah. He, he, yeah. he gonna hold a special place in my heart until we until. Yeah. We, oh no, no, I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. And, and his time was cut prematurely for real. Yes, yes. When you really think about it, because last year's run was really his run for real, to really do what he yeah, had to do. It was. Wentz, Wentz and Fitzpatrick should have never got a shot over that kid. Yeah. After that Tom Brady game in the playoffs, yep. I think he, he's still supposed to be the quarterback right now. How should have beat him via beating him in the preseason? And I would have been fine with that. But to cut him off the team... To have a back, no, I'm, I'm sorry, he should still be the backup right now. Yeah, I can't argue with you. Y'all know I feel that way after seeing Brissett this all season. <laughs> 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 so, you already, y'all already know I'm with it. Whatever we got, we got our secret weapon, the preseason goat Jake Fromm. <laughs> <laughs> I always felt like Fromm should have been the backup. They stole it from Fromm, too. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't gonna go that far. I do like what Fromm did, but I ain't gonna go that far. Fromm don't got Super Bowl experience. Exactly. I, I can agree with uh, V. And I, I, think, I think the reason I said is the only reason why he's there over Fromm. Fromm definitely had a better preseason. If we're going off of the gameplay, right. I got you. I, I won't argue with that. But yeah. The, it's just some game situations that Fromm has never been in. That like that situation right there, getting hit and getting put out of the game. You see how fast Brissett had his helmet on, was ready to go yep. in the game. Yeah, <laughs> he was already in there calling the play, bro. Like he's already used to that stuff happening. Meaning that I just know that he's prepared to go in and yeah. play the game. For yeah. Fromm, I'm more than sure that he would be too because you know that you're waiting for that opportunity. But Brissett's also going to not play the game as if. Whatever I do right now is gonna give me the start next week. If if Howell's coming back next week, I'm cool with going yeah. back to the role I had. Yeah. And you just need that help. You you need that help on the road that we're trying to take. This is the first and, week of the season, and the Cardinals is already gunning for him. So imagine what everybody else wants to do. And it's good good to have a seasoned vet behind your your young quarterback, so you can get that conversation when when stuff do break down on the field. He got somebody to talk to. So I, I agree with having Brissett um, be the number two. And let's give us, agree. let's give our staff some credit to say that they obviously saw what we saw in from and said we need to bring him back to the practice squad. We don't need to yeah. just let him sit out there and that and that. You know what I'm saying? Bring him back. So yeah. We're starting to make the moves that make sense. Absolutely, absolutely. I can't. I cannot disagree with that at all. Yeah. I mean, right now, yeah. right now, I really think that we need to uh, we need to focus on that tight end position, man. I was saying that all off season, something that we did I not really it, address. I like Forbes though. I really like Forbes, but I wanted Kincaid so bad. I yeah. feel like Kincaid would have made our offense like just way too dynamic. But the, we only get one football. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'll take strengthening that yeah. cornerback spot, especially since we didn't do anything in free agency to try to assure yeah. it up. And full, I, yeah. like, I really like Forbes. And even if Forbes don't get the picks, I feel like he brings that he brings that energy to the other backs. So we almost got picked so far. Absolutely. And, you know what I'm saying? That's not usually what, how we have it in the secondary. So, you know, I'm all right with he, that. You got that dog mentality, yeah. man. You definitely yeah. see the dog in there. Oh, that was a hit up. Oh, that should have been held with the helmet. It should have been a, 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 not held with the helmet, but uh, 
Uh, he got hit in the face. He definitely got hit in the face. They should have called it. Same how did. Oh, they did call it. They got it. First and ten, Washington. The good call. Sam Howell, seven, seven foot nine, 37 yards in the touchdown right now. Howell, back to pass. He throws it. And the ball is tipped and it's intercepted on a batted ball. That's ball is tipped at the line of scrimmage. He had a clean pocket and threw it off his back foot a bit. If there's anything I can give to him on that one, it'll be that he just threw it off his back foot. But I don't think that was necessarily a bad pass because he had, you could tell who he was going to. The man was wide open. I mean, that's going to happen. Yeah. Our defense got to go out there and, and, and hold him down. I, I agree with that. Arizona keep, man, I feel like Arizona kind of targeting how a little bit, man. They are. It's, it's a lot, I believe of, they it's are. a lot of dirty. It's a lot of dirty things going on in there. In, in, in if the you ask me, when your coach got a hoodie on, you just got to think negative, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. The defensive coach is like it's hunting season, bro. He already just got it out. He got the black hood on and everything. He is hunting. I yeah, I, I, I told you. Yeah. That got the pick too, bro. I told y'all two years ago that's who we should have picked in the draft over jamming. David Collins, he like six five, six six, bro. But look how he started down in the box. Look. And jump to get that jump, man. Yeah, I, I call him. That's one of my players. I called, bro. <laughs> it was a tip pass. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't saying he ain't get no help from this hey, line. But... Oh, it is a five yard loss on the play. Deron Payne. Yeah, the bringing the pain. See, that's what I'm talking about. You know, pain and out. I come to bring the pain. Hardcore to your brain. <laughs> right. So holding on the outside, man. They are holding. You got a third and nine for the Cardinals. This is important down for Washington. If they can get them off the field here, you can stop them to a long field goal. And it is a bad, oh, great uh, defense. Who's that? Kendall Fuller. Kendall Fuller. I think Kendall Fuller's going to have his best season. I believe he ended the season so well last year that it's going to trip him over for this year, yeah, if you ask me. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Lord, have mercy. Bro, did Deron Payne know what the play was? <laughs> like, hey. it like, bro, he is, he is like, hey. giving that Bama a sandwich back then. <laughs> the field goal right down the middle. For 54 yard attempt, like it was 20. Yeah, Matt Prater. Earn them, earn your keep. That's what now you I see why on Madden, the Cardinals Good was, play, was kicking from the from midfield on Madden. I stopped the Cardinals there kicking from midfield. I see why now they got Matt Prater. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. Well, we still had a. Man, we have seven right now. I think the Washington need to separate themselves from the Cardinals. I don't think they want to let this team hang around too much. You know, you up by three or four. No, no, really no. That was, just, that was just a, that was just a, a, a bad turnover. Good spot for the Cardinals. Like if you yeah, that's, Madden, that's what you want. That's but then, at, when you get that field goal, the person that got the field goal is really cussing. They got the points, but they really cussing. Like, you trying to, as a coach, you're trying to tell them, like, yeah, we got it. We only one sport down. But you're really upset at the fact that you got the ball on the 30, essentially, and didn't get any yards. I agree with that. That's before halftime, before Jack gets to adjust. That was just basically almost red zone defense right there. So I'll take the three. I but that's a win for the defense. That's a win for the defense. And <clears throat> you still got to blame how. You keep it. You keep it light as a coach because you know it's a it's a new situation. But you still got to blame him for uh, just for the for the turnover on that side of the field. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I totally agree. Getting that early 
Olympic score, though, gives you the confidence to not be, you know, so hard pressure. You don't got to go out there and do nothing. You essentially just need to have a good long drive. Even if you don't score, you need to get a drive on at least to your 50, be able to punt the ball, keep the lead going into halftime, and also give your chance, give your defense a chance to force them into turning the ball over by them being on this side of the uh, 50. Nah, man, we need at least three points here. No, no, of course, of course. I'm saying at worst, at worst, you need to be able to just kill some clock. I remember, yeah. remember Ron Rivera as our head coach. I talked to Roy about this earlier too, about our guy who wants to get rid of, get the game over as fast as possible. So I feel like we should be getting all the kinks out, trying to get as many offensive plays in as we can, because the offense needs to be on the roll as fast as it can. But at the same time, Ron Rivera's history just tells me that as fast as the game ends, if it's 14 to six, he's cool with that. As long as we get out the building with a W. Yeah, yeah. like right now, I think to uh, steal some momentum back, you got to. Oh, yeah, yeah. To, to, show, to show that that turnover didn't mean yeah. nothing, you have to score. You have yeah. to score a touchdown. You don't need a field goal. You have to score a touchdown. I mean, in a field yeah. goal, like I said, with a field goal, at least you have a sustainable drive, like you were saying. You know, that can get yeah. some rest. Right, 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 right. At minimum, you want the touchdown. That's, that's the golden rule. You want the touchdown to answer back. But. You, as long as you can get a field goal, a good sustainable drive, I think that 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 that, that kills some of that momentum. That kills some of that momentum going back. Why is RG three it? Oh no, RG three's at the game. Yeah, he was one of the honorary people they brought back. I can't hate on that. I can't hate on that. Why? Hands it off up the middle. He's a Redskin great. He did win Rookie of the Year in our jersey. Then you be quiet and you don't open your mouth and talk trash about us and then want to come back and get some money <laughs> for anything. <laughs> if you were op, stay on the op side. If you were op, stay on the op block. Hey, 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 right. now, yo. I'm with Vito on this, I like bro. RG3. I, I like RG3. The, I'm the, the do's and the U's and the twos. <laughs> You know, I like RG three. At one point, I did like RG three. <laughs> I did too. But when you when you when you opt like out of this, like, I ain't, I ain't rocking. I like him now. I think he's one of the best analysts in football. To be honest, I think RG three is one of the best analysts in football in all of football. I don't care what he is yeah, right I, now. I I'm gonna be real. I, he was hating. He was thank hating. You, thank you, point. Thank he was you, hating bro. heavy. That nigga wrote a book. He's about to put a fuck out, man. Thank you. Thank you. How you think? Get your ass up off that field. <laughs> out there with your kids waving this. Hey, get, get off the damn field. You want to show them where you got your leg broke? So you gotta, you gotta run it back down uh, for the Cardinals. Um, he's on one knee. A running back? No, sorry, linebacker. Sorry, linebacker. <laughs> They put right, back on defense. My bad. My bad. Linebacker. Linebacker. That's what you get for trying to tackle Brian Robinson. You know what I'm saying? The strong dude, man. Strong Jr. Kevin Strong Jr. These shows look good, man. He look, he look like he's in good shape. Yeah. I always thought he should start. At tackle or or guard, I would use. I put him at tackle. If it was me, I would put him at tackle. I mean, I don't know. We want. I always say he was one of our underrated, most underrated linemen, but he just don't get a lot of rep. Hey, they 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 they, they like something about him this year, and I'm appreciating it. Yeah, he's been on the roster for quite some time. Okay, but I can't hate on him. Man in motion, Sam Howe, 12, uh, two, second quarter, 12, 36 left. Howe back to pass. Oh, he wanted to go deep on that one, but he's scrambling now. He's running hard this time. He slides down for a six-yard game. Sam Howe's legs is going to be such an X factor this year, man. I've running back this hurt a defensive lineman. Crazy, right? D lineman, he's not a linebacker, bro. Kevin Strong, 6'5, 295. I mean, 6'2, yeah. 6'5, 295. Crazy. It's a big guy. Yeah.
Yeah. Either, yeah. either Brian Robinson hurt him or Sadiq Charles did. That's why Sadiq Charles got up the way he did. Got like mauled him a little bit. Hands it out up the middle. I think that's to Gibson or was it Robinson? It's Gibson. Gibson up the middle. We got another third and short. I don't mind seeing the third and shorts. You know what I mean? That's how you get the long, sustained drives. I think more the more drives we have, the more the better we roll with it. You know? Tyre said, what's up, Dad? I know you don't pin it, you know, you probably ain't pin it, you into your thing. Yo. Yes indeed. Sam how? Back to pass. Throws it over the middle. It's a catch. Uh oh. Down to oh, Terry McClellan was on the ground. He was down. He was down. He was down. We got it back. He fumbled. Looked like he fumbled, but it wasn't a fumble. We got it back. Shout out to Kyrie, man. Little road deuce, all the youngest. You know what I'm saying? Red skin Sunday. Y'all can see how the pops get it in. You know what I mean? Y'all can understand the tradition. You know. Back to down. Generation to generations, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Welcome to the Nation Show. You know where we do it the best and only for the team, man. Give you live updated footage, play by play. Give you the ins and outs, the best we can, calling it how we see it. Oh, yeah, you got a man down. Yeah, you got a man down. For us? For the Cardinals. Uh, Jalen uh, Thompson. Jalen Thompson. A quick update. We two for three on third down conversions. Actually, three for four on third down conversions. And our average yards to go is 3.4 yards to go on third down. That is a crazy wow. improvement from always being in third and long situations last year. Wow. Wow. Bryce Young has his first touchdown as a pro. Shout out to Bryce Young. Okay, okay. okay. Sam Howard, shotgun. You got a 7-6 ball game. 10 minutes and 11 seconds left in the first. He throws it out to the outside. It's a catch by Curtis Samuel, who is tackled after a two-yard, one-yard game. Marco Wilson on the tackle. <coughs> so anybody looking for the screen game that we were so famously used to doing? We'll probably Real. see it later on coming on in the season, maybe even in the second half. But I think that the Cardinals secondary is strong, is one of their stronger uh, departments. Sam Howard team. with a dart over the middle to Logan Thomas. Oh, my. Oh, no. 85. That's uh, uh, Turner. What a throw by Sam Howell. Boy, man. Sam Howell is in that pocket. Even if the, 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 the line is not the line is not doing a bad job, don't get it twisted. They are doing a very good job. Let's shout out to the offensive line. We gotta be honest on that. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Right. They have not, not given up a sack so far. Going up against them dogs in practice, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got no you got still, no you got no choice but to get yeah. better. Rodriguez fumbles. Rodriguez fumbles. Rodriguez fumbles. What did I ball. tell Big Son? What did I tell him? No, Gibson. It was Gibson. I think it looked like Rodriguez to me. Was it Rodriguez or Gibson? Who was it? I'm trailing. It was Gibson. Oh, Gibson. Big Son gonna get on my back. Oh man. You same old Gibson. Same old Gibson. Big son will get on us. Yeah, he did. He did tell us about that. We lost it too. Lost fumble. Lost fumble. Damn, yeah. Big son was right. Big son called it last week. Big son called it last week. And I'm gonna let y'all know. From now on, I'm gonna keep these clips and I'm gonna replay these clips of what everybody said about it. Because gift, I mean, big son called that one on the money. We had a nice on the after show. And y'all go back and make sure y'all watch the after show. On the after show last week, Big Son, we had a nice discussion about Gibson. And Big Son said that he wasn't for Gibson because of the fumbling. And on this one, Gibson fumbled in the red zone where we essentially had at least three. Xavier, 
Good Collins has an interception and a fumble recovery. That's crazy. Two defensive possessions in a row. That's that's the guy you said, right? That you like. Yep. We skipped him to pick Jamie. Gibson, Gibson, Gibson. We picked we, we moved up in the draft to get Jamie and we went we skipped over Shardy and the Cardinals picked him up. Gibson, Gibson, that was Gibson. a bad turnover. Yes, it was. Yeah. What I what I that said, what I, said was right. what I said point was right. We did have a sustainable drive. We don't get any points. Exactly. So you got to stop them to keep it a seven six game. Yeah. Because it still leaves you in a better situation than your previous years of always going into halftime losing. Exactly. That's why I was saying. Put your foot on the gas, man. We get up seven nothing. The defense. They were. You know, no, that, that that drive was kind of putting your foot on the gas because it was a good balanced drive. This yeah. goes to show the importance of Brian Robinson Jr., why he was drafted, obviously why Rodriguez was drafted, because they even still had concerns with getting and this hurts him to me in having an opportunity at playing wide receiver. Yeah. Because if you can't keep the ball off the ground, you can't play, bro. We yeah, just cut Gibson. Patterson, who's never fumbled for us. Honestly, honestly, that's why I was saying we should have went after a Dalvin Cook, a Kareem Hunt, nah, be, a one of because Robinson is a, a Robinson is the starter. If you go out of them, if you go out, you, if you, Kareem Hunt, yes, but you got to get rid of you got to get rid of Gibson's um uh, 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 contract if you get a, a Kareem Hunt because you got you can't you can't just leave him on the bench because you you lose value. But I don't know who's going to pick him up with the fumble. No, that's why I remember I was saying trade a uh, uh, trade Gibson would have been good. But who's going to get him with the fumbling? That's what I'm saying. That that turnover thing is a big deal, bro. Yeah. And the only person, the only person I ever seen in my time of watching football to really get over that and make some hey. of their skills was Tiki Baba. Tiki. Let Tiki me say Baba. something. He had like 14 fumbles in two years and then never fumbled again for like three years in a row. Getting fucking records for the Giants, getting into the Super Bowl and all. That's like all right. He was not having that shit, but them two years he was fumbling, bro. He was he was getting the blues, bro. He Whoa. was hearing it. It's a screen pass to Hollywood Brown. He gets eight yards. Now on that on that one, what they showed was they showed Eric Bieniemy. He had the offensive line together, and he was coaching. I mean, we haven't seen that around here. We didn't see it out of Gruden. We didn't. We have. We didn't even. They didn't even have McVay do that. So the fact that Eric Bieniemy had the offensive line together, had everybody together. He's talking to him. He's coaching them up. Man, that's something special. Illegal man downfield, Cardinals. That one is coming back. Yeah, that is big. And the fact that it's not those guys' fault. They ain't done nothing wrong. Yeah. 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 And Leo, remember what I said we were trying to build? If that unit is solid, everything else you're trying to do works. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Right now, the Cardinals have five penalties for 87 yards. We should be up more than one point in this yeah, game. Yeah, tight ends over there, hey, too. That, that screen pass shouldn't have been legal. Hand it off to Carter. I mean, uh, <laughs> Connor up the middle. He gets about eight, and he tackled. That screen pass to Josh Dobbs right now right has been, uh, 38. Should have been illegal. Josh Dobbs right now. Field, bro. You said he what? That. It was okay, okay, okay. No, I said that screen pass should have been a le ineligible uh, man of field. They called it. They called it. Uh, they called it. James Conner has seventeen rushing yards right now. I didn't expect for him to do that much. Yeah. Yeah, we need to get Brian Seven. Robinson. We need back to the pass, dog. Back uh, the pass. He scrambles out. He is sacked. He is sacked. It is who is that? Look like Montez Sweat again. I'm saying Montez Sweat. Yeah. Montez Sweat. Sweat. What did you expect? And anybody who did not like what I said last this week about Chase, where is he at? Doctor, we gonna talk I about that. Get, you not getting no money, so we and, and this is just for the fans. It's not for Chase. Don't talk about the money. When he plays and he can make a tackle and he can be on the field more than a week in a row, then we'll talk about whether he should get a raise. He's got to play. I agree. 
You got a very short punt. Redskins get the ball in their own territory. Punt down to the 49-yard line. And you have a very short punt. If he only played like 10 games this year and don't do that great, you can bring him back. Yeah. Good job, Sweat. I say, I'm going to tell y'all what I would do. I would sign Sweat and franchise Young again. And that's how I would keep both of them. No, bro. I'm not even franchising Young. I'm gonna nope. give him some money, yeah. but he's gonna he's gonna show me his value. If he only played ten games this year, I'm giving him eight, eight, seven or eight million a year, and I might give him a little bit of a bonus. Give, you're not gonna be six, amongst the. You're not gonna I'm be amongst the. I'm giving him six and some change, and then giving him incentive, and giving him some incentive to make close to ten. No. Okay, this is my logic. Yeah, this is my logic behind it. I don't want to have to make sign. Close to I don't want to have to sign Chase Young and Monte Sweat in the same year. I'm so that's why I said I would sign Sweat this year, get Sweat done this year, because he, like Vito said, to Vito's credit, he has proven more. He has been on the field. He's more reliable. I, my priority will be getting Sweat done first, and I would then let y'all pay it out and franchise him and sign him next year. That way, I can split this bill up so, to two separate years. Reason why I'm not gonna franchise Chase is because I don't want to give him a minimum that much money, that much money yeah. as the minimum. Because he hasn't you've got one season out of Chase, and that one season does not deserve ten million plus going forward. Four or I'd five years. I got a question. I'd what is he, he gonna, go ahead. Go ahead, point. No, no, I'm not franchising Sweat. I'm giving Sweat no. his money because he's not gonna if you try to franchise Sweat, he's gonna try to test the market. I don't want to. I don't I even agree. want him to test the market. I agree. I don't even want him to test the market. There's too many other teams going, that could use that if end. I'm, I'm giving anybody the money right now. It's Sweat, yes. and that's and that's who's gonna get the money. Somebody to get a franchise. Yes. So if that that's why I said I would sign Sweat first. That would and be my honestly, first interest. Honestly, not that I want to see him gone, but if it's worth the value, if I can get three, two, or one as a pick. Yeah. I might trade Chase if you only give me 10 games and not what I really want. It's not worth maybe franchising them then, but if after I sign them, I'm literally looking for someone to take that money. See, what I don't want this to become is a social club, right? I don't want this. And right now what I'm seeing is I'm seeing Kevin Durant. I'm seeing Joel Embiid. I'm seeing... Josh Hirsch and his whole club, his whole group of owners, all of these people in the box having fun, joking around. This is a social club. Big son, I see you. I see you, big son. Star power, man. Star power. Man, look. Hey, look hey, here. Hey. Hey, look. Star power, man. I saw I'm one not... Washingtonian up there. I saw, I saw Kevin Durant. I, I, we need star power. I, I, listen, after watching the winning time joint with Jerry Buss, the way that he was moving certain things, getting certain celebrities to come out, that's a good thing to pump up your team, they gave, bro. They gave the owner a standing ovation. Why? 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 Because they got tired of Daniel Snyder. Yeah. That's why they did. It was just like, I, it was like, it was like people that voted for Biden. It was like people that voted for Biden, uh, bro. They just got tired of Trump. I agree, but hey, honestly, honestly, if, let's be if, honest with you. Joel would be was a, is a Redskins fan. Let, you said what if Joel what? I couldn't hear that. Redskins fan. No, Joe, Josh Harris used to sign his checks. No, I get it, but I'm saying what if Joel would be is a Redskins fan? You you think they watch the Redskins in Africa? I think they watch football everywhere. <laughs> I'm just joking, I, man. I had, I had to say something. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a joke. It was just a joke. They are African players. Christian Okoye was one of my favorite yeah. players, and I'm not just picking that out. He really was. Um, it was just a joke. Nah, um, it's possible, but I think relationships. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's off season for them. They ain't got to play till next month. Yeah. It's something to do. But think free, about free it. Free seats. Listen, Durant is a Redskins fan. Okay, you know what I'm saying? We know that. And B, is that just he just tagged along because of his owner? Like, you know, like maybe. Yeah. But... Oh, oh no. And and guess what? You you are worth millions of dollars. If you want to be worth more, you hang around the right people. You know about That's those true. parties and, and, and relationships. Absolutely. 
You got a sack on Sam Howell on the third and ten. We get no yards. No yards on that drive after getting the ball in our own territory. Sam Howell, 11 for 14, 85 yards, one touchdown, one interception. We got no, we had, we got no yards on that. Arm was wide open, man. That was a bad, bad, bad uh, play read. We got Big Sun in the building. Hey, but I'm sorry, I'm not so late, uh, had a party engagement to attend to. Uh, took a little bit of overtime than we supposed to, but he, I'm here now. Yeah, his he was the Terry was open, bro. Yeah, he was. Yes, he was. <laughs> yes, he was. So, what do y'all got so far? Let me let me hear all of y'all opinions on what y'all seen so far. Um, or oh, no, no. What do you think gonna happen for the next for the rest of the half? What y'all got for the rest of the half? I mean, you know, you got four minutes left. Um, I'd like to see something different, but what it looks like is Arizona may be able to possibly get themselves in field goal range, um, given the amount of time that's left. We've always done good with two minutes left under Scott Turner, and that was probably his best offensive opportunities as a risk and um i see us being able to get the ball back what we're able to do with that is up to what the defense does and how long they let them use it's four minutes left we got three timeouts they only got two so i think they're just trying to get the lead to go into halftime if they get a touchdown or a touchdown look i think they'll go for it but right now dobbs job is to not turn the ball over but also try to get up field um so I see two possessions, them getting the ball and then us getting it back. Let's see how the two-minute offense works under the enemy. I would like to see that. Yeah, I think that, uh, honestly, I think that we're going to get the ball back. I don't, they haven't really been able to move the ball a whole lot on us. Uh, those field goals come off of uh, one good drive and, and one very uh, bad turnover. And I think that uh, going forward, if we stop turning the ball over, we could be up really big in this game at this point. Um, it's It was a first down and 10. Uh, the, the Cardinals guy had two plays, one catch to McBride, who got the first down. And um, so they're on their own 25-yard line right now. 3.33 left in the second. Oh, Dobbs back to the 49 is a, oh, 20 it is another catch to McBride. It is another catch to McBride. He gets the ball for a 14 yard catch. Um, he seems they brought a lot of energy. So they got to watch McBride. He seems they brought a lot of energy to the Cardinals. What about you, Big Son? What you what you think will happen this last this last drive? This last four minutes of the catch. Um, uh, what I would like to see them do is potentially stop stop the Cardinals potentially because like you said they come with a lot of energy they're not going out here to to see where they at they going out here to win the game so with uh, the two early turnovers on Gibson part and Howell's part we need to clean up and stay mistake free if we think we're going to win this football game better yet even get any points out of this first half after the seven points that were scored so I just want them to, you know, clean it up a little bit and uh, cross their T's and dot their I's so that this football team can become accustomed to doing great things and uh, and kind of uh, uh, sidewalking what Vito said. You know, the two-minute offense was pretty decent under Scott Turner. So when we need points, we got them sometimes more than others, even if it's just a field goal. Like, do something to get the momentum going for the second half because um, what you guys are showing me now that we still have a lot of work to do um, on the side of the hype that we got in the preseason. So I just want to see more out of these guys for them to do better. Hey, That's up, real quick, I want you to uh, touch on what you think about Antonio Gibson's fumble after our conversation last week or earlier this week. I mean, as soon as he... I said, see, this is the reason why they kept him off the field. For this exact reason here, but I'm not going to hop on his case. I'm going to give the man a chance. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to hop on his case. It wasn't, 
if we were in action, and I'm not even going to say good field position. We were in an excellent field position to get some points. And um, and that all went to the uh, to the wayside. I'm not going to say what I want to say. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to act like I have some sense. It all went to the wayside when he fumbled the ball. So uh, I'm going to give the man a chance. But in the NFL, you, like, like we talked about with Rodriguez, you don't get that many chances. So the chances that you do have, it's just like saying you expect the quarterback not to throw the interception all season. Hey, it's going to happen. If, but what if, do you do after that? If they you know? cut him, if they cut him and they bring in Patterson or bring Gorb up, it's going to say a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes you need to shake up stuff like that. I'm not saying let him go. I'm just saying for me on Madden, I'm cutting him. I'm sorry. Too many repeat performances, I know what I'm going to get later. And I don't know what else I can say to you. For you to keep the ball in your hands. I got a rookie who got almost as many courage as you did his first year as you did yours. And he didn't lose the ball one time. He didn't even lose the ball and then had to get it back. You're losing the yeah. ball. And you're losing it. Like, you're not even fumbling and getting it back. You're fumbling and turning the ball over when every possession counts. I don't care how sorry another team may seem, whatever they've got going on with their roster, whatever the case may be, you cannot – Keep giving them chance after chance after chance. The other yeah. team is a professional team too. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. And I mean, they they gave him a big chance in my in my regard for him. They gave him a big chance last year by taking the ball out of his hand, let him see fewer touches, didn't have to carry the ball so much. But when you only had three carries in the game, my brother, and we in and we in prominent small position, and you give the ball up, that's not good. That's not good at all. The first shot throw to Zach Ertz, um, t- t- tackle by Cameron Curl. So what do you guys think about uh, the 39 here? If the Redskins get the ball back, do they score? Do they get three? What do y'all think? I think they score. Me, honestly, um, when I was saying, you know, they they need to clean things up. They need more um, more work to do. I think the enemy has given them that work. He's a he's a uh, coach of accountability, so he's going to hold them accountable. He's just even though Gibson was the one who fumbled, he's going to hold all of them accountable and say, "Y'all need to go out and get some points. Y'all yeah. haven't been doing what y'all supposed to be doing this game." So that's that's my thoughts. Um, I don't think I think they're going to get a field goal. I'm not sure they get points here that's if they point. stop them. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Points, though. Yeah, yeah. I believe so, they're going to get a point. field goal. I don't think they're going to get a touchdown. I don't think they're going to get a touchdown. Know. Uh, that's it, man. All right. So you got a third and nine. Dobbs back to pass. He looks. He has some time. It's a hole. It's a hole. They got a bad hole. And he still doesn't get the first. They're going to have to punt it. Decline. Still is. I was thinking it up, man. They're killing my ticket. Remember I said that? Remember I told you? Hell no. I did not tell you before the game? Hell no. I think I think the Steelers are probably going to be the worst team in that division this year. Oh, they're going to repeat it. I would have declined it here. Oh, I don't man. know about this. I don't know about that, Ron. I don't know. You, he didn't get the first. Yeah, you got to hold. You put him back to the 30-yard line. I guess he's doing this to a field position, but if, why, why would, would you decline, decline that, Ron? Yeah, what I don't know. Wrong? This is a third and this. Yeah, this is a, that would have been a fourth and four. See, I would have. This is like that, man, Ron. You, you put yourself on the hot seat, buddy. Look at this. Okay, they got They didn't get it. They didn't get it. He gained. Four yards of, of, of field position on that. <laughs> he gained four yards of field position on the exchange. Kendall Fuller with the tackle. Yeah. You, you punt that ball right there. It's 147 left on the clock. You got two timeouts. There's no point in not accepting that penalty. And he went out of bounds. The guy went out of bounds on the play, so you didn't even have to use the timeout. Yeah, the play was stopped. Yeah, 
Sam Howe getting ready to come back out there. Cardinals setting up for the punt. You got 141 left in the second quarter of this first week's ball game. First time getting to see the team out there. The punt. Oh, good punt. Down to the five-yard line. Jamison Crowder on the return. He makes three men miss. And he has a man behind him. Good return for Jamison Crowder. Great return, in fact. You see what I said? That's definitely big. We talked about that. Remember we talked about that, uh, Leo? Yeah. How big that would be? Yeah. Crowder looks look good back there. I'm not going to lie. He made about three men miss. Yeah. Yeah. He had uh oh. Too though, remember? Uh huh. He had a fumble problem with us too. Not as much as Gibson. Uh, Gibson. Maybe, no, he didn't. I'm about to say nowhere yeah. near the, 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 the first the most fumble in play. Yeah. 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 Gibson probably has fumbled more than Crowder's fumbled his whole career. I agree. Throw to Josh Dawson over the middle. That's a first down. Washington is on the move. Uh-huh, Sam Howe in the hurry up offense. First and ten. From the 31-yard line, how back the pass looks over to the right. He throws it. It's a batted down. He's looking for Dotson again. Or oh, looking for McClellan. It might have been looking for McClellan. Yeah, he's looking for McClellan. Good thing I'm in, man. McClellan is running gingerly a little bit. If they I say he's a 100%, I don't think so. Nah, that toe still bothering Yeah, That's yeah. what it looks like to me. That turn around McClellan is shop on his routes that turnaround was very slow i don't think back to pass throws think, it over the middle uh, it Bobby. is batted down again dropped actually dropped by logan thomas you got a third and ten now for washington sam howell is 12 for 18 92 yards so how put it on the middle thomas just dropped it how Put it right on the money. Sorry, I said middle. How put it on the money? He, he, Thomas just dropped the ball. How is supposed to be feeding Jahan Dotson right now? Jahan Dotson looking like he eating. They, he eating the ball. He was like the only receiver ready to run. How back to the pass looks. He's scrambling. He is sat. Oh, he fumbles. Back in the ball. Cardinals ball. Touchdown, Cardinals. DJ Humphreys. I bet this game, right? I took that. I said, I called and said in the beginning of the, of the early this morning that the Cardinals are not, not as bad as people think. Did yeah. I not, fellas? You definitely, definitely did. That, but remember, I told you, I said I don't, I don't see us beating them by six and a half. Like that's a little, that's a little skeptical. Yep. It was a bad play for Sam Howard, though. That was a bad play for Sam Howard. He didn't know that guy was behind him. He, oh, he might did. So, so he got to protect the ball better. He got to protect the ball better. First game, two turnovers. This goes back to Logan Thomas making that catch. Logan Thomas has to make that catch. I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with that. Logan Thomas has three drops in this game. In the first half, three and the credit to what drop. Leo said early in the season when we when we did our draft. Oh my God, Cosme, Cosme, that was on Cosme. Cosme got abused on that one. Oh my goodness, Woody, the move he put on Cosme. Sam Howell had no shot to do anything, but Sam Howell had to just take the sack there and not oh, try to make. We got to protect the did ball. Y'all, did, did y'all? See what he did yes, to Cosme? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yeah. Woo! Uh, that's, that's not Cosme's fault. No, Cosme is on the inside. Cosme hey, that's what he did. He did it to the inside. Nah, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 uh, that's that was uh, that was the outside man. That's Wiley. It's the outside man. Oh, Wiley. That, that, Wiley. No, either either way, that's Wiley. It's not. It's going to be whoever the guard is. Yeah, it's going to be Wiley. Yeah, Wiley. Either way, it's not. It's going to be whoever the guard is. Is fault. Because that was a defensive end who did a spin move across the whole entire line. Yes, he did. Damn it, in by the center's gap. Yeah, it's not the tackle's fault. He can't come that far. He ran into his whole line. I mean, all right, that's the oh. guard. The guard and the center got to oh, pick that up. That was number forty-five. That was the end who got I'm in there. That one called me. I'm blaming Wiley on that. Yeah, that no, was Wiley's fault. Look at that play. 
No, big son. Listen, I'm saying that forty. The move that forty five did, that spin move, it yeah. wasn't driving upfield then spin in. He spun soon as the line, the soon as the play started, which means you got another fumble. You got another fumble. By who? He said he was down. It might have been Gibson. Gibson was returning the kick. Oh my God. You got he did the spin move across the tackle face, big son. Like you got a so you, know you, got how, a you know how as a tackle, if the defensive lineman come in upfield and then do the spin move inside, he didn't ever come upfield. He just went straight across the, the, the formation. So it would have been the guard's uh job to pick up the block. He the guard the the the, the D lineman forty five did that spin move and the guard was blocking upfield and he just happened to get in that jump. To th throw in a catch to Curtis Samuel, he's out to the forty one yard line. Washington gotta hurry up here. They need at least three points on this drive. Yeah. They better get them. Sam Howard shotgun, back to pass, looks. He's going for some gusto, throws it out of bounds over over the head of Johan Dawson. He had him. Just a lot. It's just overthrown. Three turnovers in the first half for that Washington offense and um and Eric B enemy. Had a good showing. What I, what I tell you when I told you I played man and I played this game, bro. And I told you I had a lead, and then for some reason. Turnovers. Sam Howell would throw a turnover. I would get a turnover, and these members would come back. And this is literally looking like one of the games I've had to play. Sam Howell back to pass. He's throwing it over the middle. It's a strike to Logan Thomas. Uh, throw Logan Thomas with the catch. Yeah, he threw a strike there, man. I but we've seen Sam Howell go through tribulation in the preseason. I expect Sam Howell to come back strong after this. This this yes. this will be my, this will be my uh, seeing if he can like be what Heineke was to me because after a turnover Heineke will always settle down or always make big plays to get his back in right and that that will be the difference between him and Sam Howe to me yeah if he could have hit Jahan Dotson on that on that uh, well I'm gonna go back to the I'm gonna go back to the preseason last preseason when Sam Howe was in there. Sam Howe came into the game, and we were down by, uh, I believe, double digits in both games. And Sam Howe came us back, came, brought us back to win both games. I'm not scared of Sam Howe. I'm going to be honest with you. I expect him to come back and play better. That's just – and I expect him to win this game, honestly. In fact, I think I'm almost guaranteeing a win. Yeah, it's a – Start of the season, he got you know started. Uh, start of the season jitters Man, going on right now. Him. How but about I the all it was almost that picked together. off? They jumping them routes. They jumping them routes. They jumping them. They gotta hit them with a double move because the Cardinals are jumping pretty much jumping all of them hook routes. This secondary good, bro. Yeah, I, what did I say though? I yeah. said that. In the, uh, did I not say that point? Yeah, I've been saying Did I not say they had a good secondary? I said that uh, doing Thursday night game. Oh, we we all know they got a good secondary. It's taking all them right, too so, long to get back to the line. It took them almost fourteen seconds to get back. Oh, to the line it is a situation. Bro, and it's a catch up the middle. Curtis Samuel out of bounds. Out of bounds down at the ten yard line. Yeah, they gotta they gotta come back to that line a little bit more quicker though. It was a strike, man. That was a great, great throw by Sam Howe, man. Great throw by Sam Howe. You don't want to get in no battle with that dude, like throwing the ball. You seen what he did in college, man. Right? <laughs> hey, and uh, you know what, bro? And, and I'm, I don't, I don't want to predict this because I don't. I gotta see how the flow of the game goes, so I'm not assuming that this happens. But he may be more comfortable playing in a back and forth type of game rather than playing from in the lead without being an attacker. Because, you know, it, it, for us, I how? Throw it out of yeah, how? we in the league, we won't, be, we won't be really going at it like that. Like, we be just trying to hold the lead. Absolutely. We got to try to create more of a lead. Yeah. All right, so you're going to have a field goal here. Bro, oh, my gosh. Sure. Damn. That's a strike. Sure. What a strike. 
And this was in a, what was this, 55 seconds when this draft yeah. started? Yeah. So, so they just got to get more aggressive. Yeah, that oh, that was a bad snap. Bad snap. He still got it in there. Great by the holder. Who's the holder? Tressway? They, this is, oh, no, 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 no. Who was it? Who's the holder? You got a flag on the play? Flag on the play. What we got? That was a horrible snap. Trust way, man. Trust way, man. Trust way, man. Oh, my goodness. Horrible snap. And we saw this in the preseason. So some of the things that we've seen during the season, we see trickle up in the preseason. You know. So it's halftime, guys. Let's reload the page. Let me reload the page. Get us in. Get the halftime thoughts. Or unless y'all want to do the halftime thoughts and then reload them. What, what we doing? What we doing? This is the same power beam, man. We ain't got no oh, all right. All right, let's go. Let's, let's hey, reload it, man. Let's reload it, baby. So, look, my, my, my opinion right now is that uh, the turnovers, man, the turnovers. Eric Bannamy, he better go in there and, and, and light a fire up under them, man, because the turnovers is where we is why we are in the situation we're in. Will we Vito out? Interceptions, all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, we need to fix that right now. If we can fix that, then we'll be talking something because we drove up and down the field several times. You know, I agree. I agree. The Steelers are stinking it up at halftime. At halftime. Still got an egg. Um, I kind of still still got a second zero. Leo's motion, like I like I explained before the half even was over. The clean up is a must have. You have to clean up. You know what I'm saying? To make, make up a lot of ground that we lost in the first half. The Cardinals have a lot of momentum behind them right now. They got three turnovers in the first half and still have another half to go. So the cleanup is a must. If you want to win this game, uh, Howell is a known shootout guy. I don't like, like Vito say, the second what Vito say, you don't want to get into a shootout with Howell because he's a quick draw. So clean up and clean up what you messed up and we can win this game, plain and simple. All right, what you got, Vito? Um, I don't like what's going on right now, but I think that's mostly because of turnovers. Um, I do like offensive production so far outside of the turnovers. I do feel like we're moving the ball on the ground, a little bit balanced with the pass. Um, I don't think EB has opened up the playbook. Um, I've seen some things I like. Uh, how striking ability has impressed me, but I feel like he's playing better in that situation rather than, like I said, from the lead. Uh, we cleaned up the turnovers. This is an easy double-digit victory right now. At least we'll be up by double digits. Um, defense is playing well. Uh, they made stops when they needed to make stops. Um, the first touchdown, you know, they let him drive and have a little bit more of a, uh, a drive and stuff like that for that one. But outside of that, I think we've been playing well on that side. The turnovers have put them on their side of – on our side of the field two times in a row. And it's only so much you can do with that. All right. Can't keep being put in that situation in the second half. All right. We're going to jump into uh, – we're going to reload and come back in. Because uh, it's time, you know what I'm saying, fellas? So we'll be right back on the Nature Network. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.